Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button because I upload new videos every Sunday. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with me. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my decor tour for Christmas 2017. I was so excited to film this video for you guys. I can't wait to upload it. Um, so before I dive in and show you guys how I decorated my house for this Christmas, I want to share with you guys two things I ended up purchasing after my decor haul um, that are actually in the decor tour video. So let me show you these two things so we can get to the tour. The first thing I purchased was this cute stocking at Michael's. And up top, it just has like the sequins with the glitter. And over here is like textured and knitted and it's just so cute. I thought it went so perfect with the white and silver that I have going on. I just like how different it is as well. The next thing I got was some Christmas towels to put in my kitchen on my stove. They are so cute. These I got from Marshalls. Um, this was the last one there, so I know it was meant for me. And it just ties in everything together with the snowflakes and the snow and the white and the gray. I'm just so happy. So let's dive into the decor tour. So I just want to show real quick, this has nothing to do with the decor, but as you can see, I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but it's literally snowing the day I decided to do my decor tour. So I'm actually excited about that. I think it goes with the whole theme, right? <laughs> this beautiful wreath on the door, which has a little sprinkle of snow and I love the pine cones on there. So when you come in through the front door, the only Christmas decor I did in this area was this small vase right here. And it's normally here, but all I did was add the frosted balls and the frosted, I guess, branches that came in that bushel. And I just like how simple it is in this corner right here before you move into the living room. Then as you move into the living room, I added some ornaments and pine cones to these two vases that I have over here. And if you look right over here is that piece from Ikea, which is strictly for decor since the candle stinks. Um, and I end up doing something like this every year. And I just added the lights along the window. And it just looks amazing at night. I'm going to just turn off the lights. I don't know how it's going to look. So you guys can get the feel of things but it looks so nice at night sometimes I'll have that lamp off depending on how we're feeling over here we have that white pumpkin brulee candle and that cute little rustic snowflake sign I just think it looks so cute on this little side table right here you have the dining room and here if you remember I had two orange leaves in here for fall and what I did was, since it's Christmas, I just added the frosted, the little white balls, pine cones, just to give it a wintry frosted feel. Then when you look up, this is the statement piece of my house. I think that this area right here basically screams Christmas. I'm going to walk closer so you guys can see. Um, this little house was not in the video because... My mother gifted it to me years ago, and it's just one of my favorite things. I think it's so cute. Um, she told me the other day that she got it at Target on sale, so I'm going to wait and see after Christmas and see if they have similar ones because I would love to just fill the table in the future. But for now, I just put two mason jars with some Hershey Kisses and some Christmas Reese's, which is a must. Over here, you'll see that garland that I had in the video, and it just looks so amazing over here I love it and then with the two candles from Ikea and the candle holders this piece right here is just this is where I look every time I walk in the house then if you look over here I have my Christmas tree and I'm backing up so you guys can see the full view the white skirt looks super clean super neat I love it and the silver and white balls just go great and then I'll move in closer I do have some personalized ornaments on there I do want to get more but this is what I have for now but I have a little K for my name 
these my mom gifted me this was because I danced ballet for a huge portion of my life that is like me and it says like my year of birth hold on this try to get this camera to focus okay so as you see it says my name that says 1990 these I made in school so cute I can't and a little wolf for our prince and this right here is our star. Now if you look over, you will see our stockings. I do not have a fireplace, but I think they go well there. And I love that they're white, they go with everything. And these little letters I actually got at Walmart years ago. And they came with swirly hooks. So that's me, babe, and our little handsome, which is on the couch right there. So after you leave the dining room, we have the hallway. I kept it very simple. And I used those signs. Here is the walk-in closet. I put Noelle on here. This little wreath on the bathroom door makes my heart smile every time. And then of course I put Joy on the bedroom door. So we'll walk into the bathroom real quick because I really didn't do much because the bathroom is already um, silver, gray, and white. I just added the texture candle right here on the plain dish. When you come out the bathroom or any of the doors, this is the main statement in the hallway. This right here, I just did the same as my other vases and I added some ornaments, pine cones, I think it looks awesome. I put the textured candle on that snowflake candle dish, which looks awesome. Over here, I just have this candle, which was also from the Vinter collection, but I had purchased this a long time ago to decorate my bathroom, and I ended up bringing it out because it came with a pack of three, and I only used two in the bathroom, so I put that there. And with the little rest of the bushels and the pine cones, I just put it in a mason jar and I thought it tied together so well. Out from the hallway, back through the dining room, we make it into the kitchen. The first thing is this beautiful centerpiece on the kitchen table with the vase from Marshalls. And in here I just put some leftover from the garland and the frosted balls and over here we just have a Christmas mat this was from last year I really want to get a new one this year but the one that I wanted was out of stock but I think the snowflakes tie in with the white and the silver decor speaking of white and gray and silver are my beautiful new kitchen towels I love them they just look amazing with my under the mistletoe candle burning over there and last but not least, I have these beautiful snowflakes on the pantry door. Um, I've had these for a couple years now, and each year I find a different place to put them. They were originally on the cabinets, but I just love them on the door. It looks way better. And right over here on the kitchen door is just the other wreath. It's the same as the front door. It looks amazing. I really adore the fake snow and like frost and the pine cones it just ties the decor all together before ending the decor tour i really just wanted to show you guys how the dining room looked at night it's just so warm so inviting the white really pops and i really love the way everything came out voila and that is how i decorated my house for this christmas i am so excited i don't know what it is but i am completely in the holiday spirit um, yeah, so if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you can see new videos every week. And until next time, guys, bye!